Hello and welcome. Today I will be going over the latest V Rising dev update, giving us some information on the server maintenance notice and some other things, just so you guys are aware, because I've gotten a lot of questions about this. So yeah, let's get right into it. In preparation for the full launch of V Rising, there is going to be server reorganization and maintenance taking place over the weekend leading up to the patch. Servers will be closed starting at 12 UTC on Monday, May 6th and will remain down until they come back up on May 8th, fully reset and ready for you to strike out into Vardoran fresh. Important note, player run servers will not be affected by this downtime. So just to clarify, all right, we just read this, I know, but I'm gonna simplify this a little bit for you guys. Main things you need to know. If you are on a server that is an official server, like an official V Rising server, this affects you. So if you're on a private server, like a dedicated server, uh, like for example, my own server that I run, you are not affected by this. However, there will be wipes, even on my server. So keep that in mind. So at remember 12 UTC. So 12 UTC, I uh, went through the trouble of trying to uh, decipher what that is because unlike uh, some other people I live in the United States. So 12 UTC is 5 a.m. PST or Pacific Standard Time so that's West Coast US and then East Coast US is 8 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're on the East Coast 8 a.m. West Coast 5 a.m. That is the main thing. Now, this didn't come without a blog, so I'm gonna go over the blog as well. Server maintenance, save resets, and official servers. Uh, server maintenance, we're gonna go over this first. Greetings, vampires. In preparation for the full launch of V Rising, there is going to be server reorganization and maintenance taking place over the weekend leading up to the patch. I can click here for more information on the 1.0 update, but we already covered all of that, okay? If you, if you missed it, I made plenty of videos going over the update so make sure to go back uh this video that you're watching now is going to be part of that playlist so make sure you do that servers will be closed starting 12 30 utc okay so that that is different than what it says here that's a little confusing that is not what i just read um let me double check and make sure that that's yep that's still there interesting okay so I guess it's 1230 UTC, not 12. Interesting. Monday, May 6th. And we'll remain down until May 8th, fully reset, ready for you to strike out, blah, blah, blah. We just read that. Important note, player run servers. Okay, moving on. Official server types. The goal of official servers is to provide a stable V Rising experience, but ultimately we expect players to move on to private servers with more tailored gameplay after they've got their vampire legs under them. Every server will have a cap of 60 players. We intend to have the following server types available in all supported regions. PVE squad servers, six month reset time. PVE squad servers, brutal difficulty, six month reset time. PVP squad, weekend raids, three month reset time. PVP squad, brutal difficulty, weekend raids, six month reset time. PVP trio, weekend raids, three month reset time. PVP duo, weekend raids, three month reset time. PVP squad, no raids, one month reset time. PVP squad, merciless, full loot, daily raids, one month reset time. And PVP duo, merciless, full loot, daily raids, one month reset time. Like in Gloomrod, all servers will reset eventually. These official servers are not meant to be your home forever. That being said, we also want to give you the most time we can to not feel rushed if you're starting new on them. For that reason, we intend to start more servers about halfway through the reset time to make sure there are always servers that have significant time left on them before they reset. For example, if a server has a reset time of six months, 
we will be starting new servers of that variety after three months. Save resets in the new update. We'd like to take this time to remind you that with the new patch, players will have to play on a new save if they want to experience the content of the new patch. All official servers will be reset and reconfigured to new settings for the coming update. If you wish to play on your old save with the old patch, a Steam branch will be publicly available to run your server and preserve your progress. However, be advised that this save will not include any updates coming out on May 8th. Difficulty settings. V Rising will introduce difficulty settings which should make it much easier for you to choose your preferred game experience. These will be available in game as a server setting. And if you are hosting the game, you should be able to change the settings from within the client at any time. However, you will have to do a quick restart for the effects to take effect properly. In short, choosing how you like to play the game has never been easier. Here's a quick rundown of the differences between the main three options. Relaxed mode. For those that favor exploration, building, and more relaxed combat. This mode is for players who prefer to indulge in the world's aesthetics, explore, and build rather than focus on the struggle of battle. Your rise to power will be a slaughter, but that's alright, you like a slaughter. Sun damage reduced, blood drains more slowly, enemies deal less damage, V-blood bosses have less health. Normal mode, an experience focused on exploration, building, and challenging combat. Normal settings are the standard settings you know and love. No surprises here, just the well-tuned action combat survival experience for the vampire who likes some challenge with their rise to vampiric perfection. Brutal mode, face devastating challenges in a world with evolved adversaries. Recommended for seasoned veterans. Brutal difficulty is only recommended for vampires who have already experienced the full breadth of Vardoran at least once. For those of you new to the world, your best first experience will probably be on normal difficulty. However, if you want to experience V-Rising in a new way, this is your opportunity to get your undead heart pumping again. Many V-Blood bosses now have new behaviors and abilities. Okay, I wonder what that's going to look like. Hmm. V-Blood bosses have more health. V-Blood bosses deal significantly more damage. V-Blood bosses are higher level. Enemies deal significantly more damage. More loot drops from all sources. You need it. Item durability drains more slowly. Trust me, you'll thank us. Choose your experience. Okay, so it looks like this is what the in-game interface is going to look like. They're showing an image here where it shows relaxed, normal, and brutal. And then, of course, there's the uh, my favorite setting, advanced game settings, <laughs> which I usually mess around with. Um, just a heads up, guys. When 1.0 drops, I will be doing a video explaining the server settings. Uh, hopefully I'll have it out as soon as possible. That's going to be a very high priority video once that change happens. Maybe I'll get them to add super relax for me. <laughs> well, you don't have to add super relaxed because I will show you how to make super relaxed, but we'll get there. We've simplified the experience of choosing how you want your journey to play, allowing you to simply choose a difficulty and go. For those who want to further adjust your settings, you'll be able to do so in the advanced game settings to further tweak details to your liking. So now it shows a preview of what that screen looks like. And it looks like there's now tabs, which is nice because currently you just have to scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll, which is kind of annoying. So I'm glad they separated the tabs, which is nice, more organized. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with this interface. Let's see some of the settings here. We have game settings. We have clan size, allow a global chat, server time zone for player and castle interactions, permission to loot dead players, uh, world settings, soul shards amount, mortium rift incursion interval, minor mortium rift incursion duration, major mortium rift incursion duration. And then there's items, but it cuts off in the image. So we don't know what else it says here. You'll be able to return to this menu anytime you want, making it easy to change settings if you decide you want to tweak things again after you start playing. Not every setting works this way though. For instance, choosing starting equipment won't give you a new set of equipment after you've already, well, started, but many of these settings can be adjusted even if you've already started playing. 
For those who want to go even deeper into perfecting your server settings, you can now get taken straight to the directory where you can edit your server files from the client itself. This is for those of you who are comfortable doing a bit of research and tinkering with the server settings text files directly. This is not advised for those who want to keep it simple and might not be for everyone, but we want to give you the tools to do it yourself if you're inclined. So here they show an interface. You have land server button, you have the remove from history, go to directory, move from Steam Cloud, delete save, and of course, edit settings. Remember guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to do all of this, including the advanced stuff where you're going into the server files itself. Um, so I'll make sure to show you guys how to do that. I do currently have a server settings guide up right now, but I'm sure there's going to be new settings. So if you wanna look at that, just kind of to get an idea of whether or not you'd be interested in that kind of video, I'm gonna post a link to that in the description below. However, when I post the new video, I'm going to also go back and link it in the comments for this video. So make sure to keep an eye out for that. It's never been easier to host a server. For more information on how to host your own dedicated server, please check out some of our available resources that get into all the dirty technical details to help you get it running. Community servers are doing some wonderful things these days, and we would encourage you to support and treasure your community admin teams when you find a great one. Okay, so the words available resources is highlighted here. I don't know why. Oh, okay, so it looks like there's a, a GitHub. Oh, that's so nice. That is so nice. So the GitHub kind of explains a lot of these settings and how things work. Okay, so uh, I'm going to also link this in the description of this video and probably the future video when I make that eventually. Thank you. That's all for now, vampires. With final preparations underway for the full launch of May 8th, we're excited to share the most exciting time in V Rising's history with you. It's all been leading up to this. Get ready for the May 8th launch and get V Rising now on Steam. The PS5 release of V Rising is set for later this year. You can wishlist it here and then there's a link. Subscribe to the newsletter, join blah, 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 blah. And then they show their various social media accounts. Uh, lots of love and a pint of blood, the marketing team. All right, so uh, yeah, I hope that th this video was helpful for you guys. I know not everyone has the time to read through all the blogs posts, and that's kind of why I just kind of go through the whole thing and read it. I know it's kind of like tedious, and I think even yesterday's video I know was a little bit tedious and back and forth, but I just don't want to miss any details. I don't want to make sure that you guys are informed on the latest stuff, and I'm keeping you all up to date. So yeah, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe. If you happen to be looking for a new server for 1.0, I currently run a server called the Barterin Alliance for Monstrosities and Perpetual Sinners, also known as Vamps. It's a casual PVE server with unrestricted teleport, five times inventory stacks, eight member clans, plenty of available plots, three castle hearts per vampire, 30 servants per castle, slightly stronger vampires, slightly faster craft and refine, fast servant convert rate, no wipes until there's another major update, I guess. And it's a long-term server. So if that sounds like the server for you, feel free to check that out. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description below. For those of you who don't know, my name is Shiloh Q. I'm a Shiloh Eats Quaintly Reaper and Guide to the Underworld. I stream three times a week on Twitch, Kick, YouTube, and now also Twitter for the month of May, because I'm testing that out. I usually stream V Rising content on Thursdays, but once 1.0 launches, I'm probably going to be streaming V Rising at least twice a week, if not more. On May 8th, which is launch day, I'll be doing a four hour stream starting at four o'clock PM Pacific Standard Time. And I'll be also celebrating my one year streaming anniversary that day. So make sure to stop by, say hello. I'm, I'm also having a subathon that day, but uh, if you'd like to stop by and say hello, I'd greatly appreciate it. I hope to see you all there. And as always, Sholo out.